Hello everyone and welcome back to another video, to Silix here, and today I'm going to show you how to get motion blur in your Geometry Dash videos. To clarify, this does not mean you're going to play with motion blur, it just means that you are going to be recording in an extremely high FPS and then rendering to a low FPS, which creates a blur effect. I have Geometry Dash here, alright? And it is currently running in 52 FPS, 60... around there, 60 FPS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn... if I go to Graphics, advanced and I turn vertical sync off and that means it is going to stop capping my fps and my monitor's refresh rate so then what i can do is i can go to this program called mega hack and this is actually a really useful program a lot of the top players use it, it is completely legal and allowed and actually just helps you game a lot so right here what you're going to see is fps cap you're going to set that to not 60 you're going to set it to uh whatever you want to record in for me it's 360 so i'm going to record as that a lot of people they're going to be recording in 240 so you would set it to that or 300 or wherever you it does not matter if it's multiple of 60 yet on the other hand in obs it does you are going to be recording in higher fps than just 60 fps okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my video tab i'm going to set this to fractional fps keep this whatever you want it to be bilinear but blurry of scaling and i'm going to set the numerator to whatever fps i want to record in and these are the best output settings for recording if you're wondering you could be 17 max performance high off off everything off except that and I set my process priority to normal. So what's going to happen now is um, now my drum trash FPS is going to be capped to 360. So right now I am running drum trash in 360 FPS and it looks really smooth. As you can see, the screen looks very extremely smooth and it's like I will be playing with a 360 hertz monitor, which is why this motion blur is such a good effect. All right, that's enough. What I understand is how to record the game in 360 FPS. Let me show you how to render it in 360 FPS. All right, I got Vegas set up, so I'm going to show you how to render in high FPS. I'm going to drag on what I just recorded, which is not this, it's actually this. And so as you can see, I've got my gameplay. Now, for me, when I play it, it is going to be extremely laggy, which is why there is this .bat file in a Discord server that I really like called Hone. Now, Hone can be used for a wide range of variety of things. It is mostly used to double your PC FPS, which is really useful if you want to record a high FPS. So if you can't get the FPS you want to record that, then I would do Hone. These are really cheap optimizations, and you can even go to vouchers and see everything that's happening in there because people are getting like extreme FPS boosts. They are all Minecraft players, but they do work for every game if you do them correctly. Enough about PC optimizations, we're looking at Geometry Dash. And so we're going to be heading over to Preview Lag, which is what we are getting. Basically, what you're going to do in this server is you're going to download the specific back file that you have. For an NVIDIA GPU, I'm going to download this, but I already have it downloaded. And so I'm going to put it in its own folder called Downscale. And I have the bat file right here. This is the bat file. It is supposed to be in its own folder, completely empty with nothing else other than your desired rendered video. So because I am getting a lot of preview lag on my high FPS video right here, I am going to drag that into here and I'm going to run the bat file. This needs to be called input.mp4. Make sure that your OBS is rendering to mp4 or else it will not work. I'm going to run the bat file and it is going to convert this FPS into a proxy, which is what you can use to edit. Now, I don't really need to do this because it's a video, but that will not take a lot of time. I used to record in like, I recorded like a 30, 40 minute Minecraft video. It took like 10 minutes to work. So that would be really great. So let's say that it just finished downscaling and it's going to show up a proxy here. You are going to move that proxy into here and you're going to replace the clip with the proxy. So I'm going to go to replace and I'm going to choose where my proxy is. I haven't got a proxy, so I'm not going to do it because I didn't fully run the bat file. This is going to really help with your editing if you were edited in Vegas. On the other hand, in Premiere, which I also have over here, I'm going to show you how to render it in Premiere because some people use that as well. Now, because they're both flawed editing programs, oh Jesus, Premiere is not going to open it. Okay, it is. Wow. Jesus Christ, I didn't expect that. Um, you definitely want to do the same bat file with Premiere, okay? <laughs> because it is, it's still, it's still laggy, all right? Look, it's slowing down. This is not very good. I'm going to get my clip that I want to render because I'm not rendering the entire thing. This is a short video. I'm going to right click it, go to time interpolation. I'm going to set it to frame blending. And what this is going to do is it is going to blend all the frames for this example is 360, so it is going to blend six frames into one, which will create a motion blur effect. When I export media, um, I would not recommend rendering with Premiere, okay? You can probably, if you edit with Premiere, I would render in Vegas and then edit with Premiere, but Premiere is not very good at handling high FPS recordings. But if you are, go to VR one pass and go to 50, just make this as good as possible, okay? Frame blending, you know, everything. Premiere is not very good rendering, but if you don't mind the extreme quality and you just want to render it out easily, then just do that. On the other hand, if you were to edit and do everything in Vegas, that would be 
better for high FPS recordings. Honestly, I really dislike Vegas compared to Premiere, but it's just you sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Now for the Vegas settings, you're going to have to play around with this depending on which type of quality you want your videos to be at. Let me just get a clip of background track gameplay. File, render as, and I have a bunch of free sets, but it's going to be magic AVC slash AEC MP4, and this will get you the best quality. I have this right here as a uh, template, but what you're going to do is you're going to click on uh, either one of these two. Uh, it doesn't matter which one. You're going to customize template, and you're going to import all of these settings if you want your video to look the best of the best, all right? These are the best settings. That, and that, and that. Audio sample rate should be what you're recording at in OBS. For me, it is 41.1 kilohertz, and so I'm going to keep that. And okay, and let me just render it as test, all right? As you can see, it was already rendering, and you're already seeing the motion blur before the video has uh, even finished rendering. I forgot to mention, but when you're written, when you're editing with the uh, proxy, the proxy is way less quality than the input, and it is 1280 by 720 and it is in 60 FPS. So please do not <laughs> render with a proxy as you're recording. You're going to uh, click on your thing, you're gonna push replace, and you're gonna replace it with your original really high FPS clip, all right? The proxy is only used for editing because you cannot edit on the high FPS recording very well unless you have a really good PC, which most of you isn't going to be the case. For the best encoding like possible, which is the least you're gonna be recording your solid state drive and not your hard drive. But if you record your hard drive, I think that's fine too. It will just look way better and it will be less encoding lag and it will just, it'll just be better if you record to your solid state drive. The file size is going to be enormous. So if you're um, recording like a little showcase of a level or you're doing something like that, uh, I would do this technique, but if you're recording for hours and hours and then on trying to beat a level, then I wouldn't do it. Unless you are recording at lower FPS than what I am at 360. And there we go, it's finished. There's also another uh, way to render it. I'll go to file render as. And these are for the kind of good settings. Like they're not the best, but they're all right. All right. So the matter, we have our rendered video. This is not end here, all right? Unless you have a really popular YouTube channel and your YouTube's going and YouTube is going to give your video the VP9 codec, you are going to have to upscale. Basically, upscaling means you got you're converting your 1080p video clip or whatever you're recording in to a 4K video clip, and the bat file can be found in Hone as well in upscaling. Depending on which, uh, you also need Evan Penbank to do it, but uh, depending on which GPU you have, you have to do one of these. Right, so there's the video. I'm gonna. I'm going to pull it into my own folder called upscale. I'm going to pull it in here. I'm going to call it input. I'm going to run the bat file and it will load and it will convert this into a video called upload. And you upload this, not this. As you can see, it's basically the same thing. But if you look at the properties, this is in 4K, which will uh, force YouTube to upload your video in the VP9 codec, which is going to look way better than the 1080p uh, codec because YouTube sucks for smaller channels. And if you don't already have a really popular YouTube channel, you are going to need to do this to get the highest quality possible. I think that's gonna be the end of this and I don't really have anything more to add, but if you have any questions, don't forget to leave it in the comment below, as well as like the video if this works for you. And if you use this and you get a Q and A asking you how do you get it, I could appreciate a little shout out, man. But you don't need to, of course. I didn't invent this. This is a Minecraft thing brought over to Trash. all right? so. Yeah.